What's up, guys? Welcome back to Project Germero. I am Michelle Abadi, and this is Brett from Insane Power. How's everybody doing? We're here at his shop in Henderson, and if you guys have been following along, this is Project Germero, and today we're pretty excited because we got a couple boxes from KTEC. So let's see what we got. Do we have the right box? This box is the heavier of the two, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be our head. Okay. The UPS guy was kind enough to like slam this the shit out of this when he set it down. Oh, of course. So hopefully when we open it, it's got some good padding on it, guys. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're safe because the axle is a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost not tall enough to do this. So you want my help? <laughs> Come on, there we go. All right, cool. Okay, you take that one. All right, we're gonna take this one over here. Ooh. Okay. Kind of pimp. <laughs> All right. It's on both of them too. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. All right, Britt, tell us what we got here. <coughs> All right. So we have our stock LS3 heads that have been all CNC machined. As you can see, it looks like a piece of jewelry. So they actually, K Tech has developed the port not only in size and shape, but also for airflow and air speed. They then put it into a CNC machine that, that will cut the desired shape for the best application, okay? So as we can see here, it goes all the way through to the valve job. They install the guides we sent with them. So we have all new bronze guides installed. We have a multiple angle valve job. And so you people that don't know that have been told that it's a three angle valve job. The reason it's three angles is air cannot turn more than 15 degrees without rolling on top of itself. So the more angles, within a 15 degree spectrum, allow the air to stay connected to the port and around the valve for the best flow. So you can actually like feel all of them. Yeah, yeah I mean you can feel crazy. every one of them. Yeah. yeah. So they do that with a form cutter and they cut all those angles at one time. Wow. Yeah. As you can see in this port, where the cutter didn't catch way down in the back like right here, Yeah. because they're designing it for shape, not necessarily for size. So the cutter went in and made the improvements it needed to remove and not touch the bad spots, which would make the port worse. So, very nice job. Now, the difference between a CNC cut that's good and a CNC cut is bad is the transfer points. So, Michelle, you see right here that line? I'm yep. going to show the line over here. Well, he could get, yeah, he, yeah. he'd catch it later too. There's a line right here. No cutter in the world can turn a corner. Okay. So, they'll come in a machine from this angle and then from this angle. Oh, I got you. The lineup of the cutter transfer from one to the other is almost perfect. So the CNC job on this is bar none excellent. That's awesome. Yeah, so they did a beautiful job on these. And they've done a lot of work. Now you can see on the exhaust port, there is no line and it's touched almost all the way around. Yeah. Because on an LS motor, they're trying to keep the flow close to each other as possible. You're never gonna get an exhaust to flow with an intake flows but a lot more material has been removed out of the exhaust to try to equalize it a little bit. Yeah. Okay? So, excellent job. That is awesome. Okay. Very, very cool. Now, we can't tell you any flow numbers, anything like that, because that's probably secretive to KTEC, and they're not going to give those numbers out to just anybody. We have them. We're not sharing them, so don't ask. Okay? <laughs> it's so, a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> but for all you guys doubting yeah. me out there on my power, just, just stay tuned, because yeah. we're going to get there. Yeah. Definitely. Now, this is not considered a budget build. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, those look really, really, really good. A lot better than they did when uh, we took them out. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, better than our $5,000 engine rebuild. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> From Shady Mechanic 101. <laughs> On Fremont Street. <laughs> On Fremont Street, yeah. So. We could get some meth and engine rebuild. So. Yes, perfect. Yeah. 
All right, cool. Well, those are the heads that we've been waiting on. Um, yeah, super, super quick turnaround actually from KTech. Um, yeah. Super helpful. Bo is actually who I always go to and, and just amazing support. He's the Trans Am representative. And uh, we got an SS in the back, so you guys might hear it in the background. Yeah. But yeah, let's see, uh, let's see what else KTech sent. Okay. All right, so we got one more box back here from KTech, okay. so let's. Kind of like Christmas around here. Yeah, the guy, like I said, the UPS guy was, was Just, pretty. I can, I can see I how know, nice we'll put the is, pretty yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so got a couple of other boxes we'll pull out first. Thank you, KTech, for all the free packing stuff. Yeah, we'll use it. We'll reuse it. Yeah. Right. Got a pillow. Yeah, I love pillows. Right. I think we're okay. good. Right. Yep. Toys for Axel. <coughs> yeah. Good. Where's he at? Oh, he's sleeping. All right. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Pretty sure I know what that one is. Yep. I'm really, 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 really excited about these. <laughs> and you'll know why as soon as you see them. Yeah. Oh my god, call. they're so cool. All right. Check these out. Custom powder coated valve covers with what I call a body yellow. So yeah, those are freaking awesome. Michelle is show showing her girl side right now. Yeah, this my accessory of colors, right? Yeah. So we got gasket. Yeah. I don't know what these are. A notice. Read those later. Those are the bolts to hold them on. Bolts. Installation kit. I thought, did they? Yeah, they even say KTEC on them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, of course, we have two of those. So, I'll pop this one out real quick. <coughs> I'm so excited. And I know they, that KTEC offers like so many colors. Pretty much, if you can powder coat it, they'll make it that color. They're so awesome. Even got my KTEC. Oil cap on this one. How awesome. Everybody knows this is a fully cast cover. Um, will not leak. O-ring, just like the factory. Clearance for big rock around, so these will fit just nicely on Michelle's new heads. Well, mm -hmm. old new heads. Yeah, yeah. my new, newer, yeah. newer heads. And they'll look really good, in yeah. case you forgot how awesome they look. All right. You, you know what this is? Hello. <laughs> I think I, I don't know. I think I know what this is. We're just going to keep cruising through the packaging here. Oh, I think this is the oil pump. <coughs> oh, very nice. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is an LS3 oil pump from KTEC. Gen 3, it's been completely blueprinted. And what that term means is, some of the port work has been done. Let's take it out of the package here. Cleaned up, all casting marks removed. And we've had some balancing marks inside that I can't show you without taking it apart. We will take it apart later when we assemble the motor. We'll show you that, and we're going to pack it with grease. But they've done some modifications here in the openings uh, to prevent calcification inside of it. Uh, it's a very nice pump. It works very well, and it's going to be a perfect addition to what we're building. And we have the KTEC logo on it. So. We'll show you some of those advances inside once we take it apart on assembly. Awesome. You Another guys, pillow. Yeah, I'm going to go for this little one. You guys can get all this stuff right on KTEC's website. It's really easy to order. Um, if you have any questions, just give them a call. They'll be happy to help you out. Oh, there we go. We got the beginning of our timing chain. Hold it up nicely. That's a, is it C5 timing chain, right? Is the same? This is timing chain for Gen 3, 4, and 5. This is a V2 chain. Full roller chain, single chain. You won't have to modify the cover. Before all you people freak out about being a single chain and not a double chain, single chains work just fine in this application. There you go, tensioner. Yep, this is a billet tensioner for the for the belt. It's pretty, too. Everything's gonna be very pretty. Yep. It's like a billet. Yeah, it's the billet tensioner that we adjust. It's a manual adjustment, not a hydraulic. 
Hydraulics, when they run, want to flip back and forth on the pressure. These we can tension the belt and just tighten the screw in the back. So they've taken all the hydraulics out of it. This is more of a race or extreme street application, <laughs> and it works very well. These are the spacers for this. They even have directions for people like me that might not know exactly how to put it together. There's a bag. Okay. All right. On to the next box here. So the way we found <coughs> about found out about KTEC is our TA2 car has a KTEC engine in it, and KTEC is a certified builder for Trans Am, meaning they build motors for TA2, and there's only specific companies that can do that. And when I was looking for a TA2 car, I really wanted to get a KTEC just because I know the reputation, I know their products pretty well, and I think it was Laguna Seca that we actually had uh, Bo from KTEC come to us, and that looks really good and help us trackside. So they always send Bo uh, trackside to all of our races, and that's how we met Bo and KTEC. This is a awesome 90 millimeter throttle body that we're gonna be putting on the car. Yeah. Before all you people start freaking out, 90 millimeters will handle everything you wanna do on a naturally aspirated motor. All you guys buying 103s, 105 millimeter throttle bodies is great in a blown application. We want the response of the throttle to be right under Michelle's foot we're saying for drive-by wire, but we want the response to be right there when she wants it. Going bigger on the throttle body will just take some of the response out of the corners. This car is not just a drag car, it's also a road course car. So before you guys all write in that you should have put a bigger throttle body on it, learn how it works before you write in. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> this will work just perfect for what we're doing. Sorry. I had to read the box so I could cheat. Yeah. So this is our last box from KTEC. Got a lot of awesome goodies here. Very, very excited. And this here is gonna do an awesome favor to relocate our coil packs. Oh, so we can see our beautiful okay. new valve covers. Yes, so here's that. Thank you. Need it. So this is the coil pack relocation kit. Comes with hardware. Oh, that looks good. Bridges for the coils. You got that open really fast. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have grabbed two. Yeah. Okay, so this is our, got it all unwrapped. It's our coil relocation bracket uh, assembly. So this will relocate our coils, I guess, on top of the valve cover, right? <coughs> yeah, so basically this will bolt to the side of the cover. There's a nice T slot. Oh. Mm. Feels like I'm lining up a hole. I'm not gonna open up the whole thing, but this slides in here like this, and then we can bolt down the coils exactly evenly down the spot, nice sliding application. Coils will bolt right on top of this. This will stop the coil from being directly near the heat of the exhaust and not transfer as much heat from the valve cover to the coil pack to keep them cooler. Awesome. And we can still see the beautiful, beautiful valve covers. Valve covers. Yes. So. This is all nice billet aluminum, uh, First class, all engraved on what they are. Everything that we've just unwrapped, amazing quality, amazing finish. I know it's going to be beautiful when it's all together. It's going gonna, gonna to be quite a piece. I'm pretty pretty stoked on this. Um, Got to say thanks to KTEC, like massively. This has been over and above. Yeah, this is this is awesome, and definitely are going to. It's going to be a huge part to making us get the results we want for yep. sure. And for any of you internet warriors that aren't sure if we're going to make it, I take side bets at any point in time. <laughs> so That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Brett does do that. Yeah. <laughs> so are we going to use uh, aftermarket coils on this? Absolutely not. GM has done thousands of dollars on research and developed a great coil. The stock coils are more than adequate for what we're doing. So there's no need to go crazy and buy some, you know, crazy aftermarket coil. The stock coils that we had on the car will absolutely do everything we need to get done. Cool. Yep. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. That's right. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I think that... And, re and remember, this is a budget build. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. really worried about the dollars we're spending. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> Be sure to check out KTACEngine.com. They have uh, lots of applications. This obviously is for our LS3 build. Um, I'll be sure to put a link in the description of all the products we got from KTEC today. 
And you'll be <coughs> seeing more of it when we start to assemble the motor. So. Yes, you'll see it actually being installed. And we're going to do a video on how we assemble the heads and check the spring heights. So there's a lot more to come, guys. So make sure you stay tuned in. Yeah, keep checking in. Every Monday we have new episodes. And then also coming up next uh, as a bonus feature to our channel is where we have the new Project Grom. So Brett might be helping with a motorcycle pretty soon. Or it's kind of just like a scooter, but it's more badass than a scooter. It's like a hybrid. <laughs> No, but we've got that coming up. Race season's here. We're also working on the TA2 car, so we've got some content coming on that. But keep checking back. We'll keep Project Romero on Mondays and additional content to come. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. See you later. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking over here. And if you missed the previous episode, go ahead and give it a click right up over here. And if you're just looking for some more awesome content from Gur Racing, go ahead and click right down here. And we'll catch you guys next Monday for our next episode.